<laughs> Barbara, uh, you're really angry at Rick, but you're getting dressed to go out with some friends for a social evening. Will you tell him what's bugging you before you go out, or will you conceal it from him until the social evening is over? Oh, I would never start an argument before we go out. I would conceal it. That's it. Oh, you're hot today. And you're hot down. Oh, welcome back to Game TV, everybody. That was Barbara McNair on Paddle Tales a few years back. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you, you enjoy did. yourself doing, doing the match game and, and that kind of thing? Oh, Do you I love that? Oh, I love doing Paddle game Tales? shows. Oh, yes, I had, I had great fun doing game shows. That, uh, that was my... Third husband? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can date you then. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I remember. I remember doing that because he was a very shy person. I was really surprised when he consented to even go on, on the show. I never I never dreamed he would do it. But he did, and it, 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 we, we made a lot of good matches. I mean, we were surprised at how often we matched We each ask other. people that a lot when you yeah. go on Tattletales yeah. and stuff with your husband, who many times turns out to be your, your ex-spouse by the time we show yeah, the clip. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how are you doing now? Do, you know, was, it, was it difficult at any time? Did you feel like maybe you, you would reveal something to the people that you didn't want to have revealed? Uh, no, I, I didn't get that feeling. You know, I, as I said, I was surprised at how compatible we were. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even know we were really had those many things in common. Uh -huh. So it was great fun. Do you I remember enjoyed. what's my line? Ah, uh, yes, I'm trying to remember who, who was on when I did what's my line. I mean, who did I? I, I don't know. I can't let's exactly. We'll refresh your memory. Yeah, if you okay, look right okay, here. Okay, okay. There we go. This way. Oh. Okay. So. Um, I'm Let's see now. Uh, when you work on the stage, are you a leading lady type uh, in musicals? Uh, yes, I guess so. Marlene? Well, are you playing in the New York Theater now? Mm. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, yes, I am. Soupy? Did, uh, <coughs> did we work together mm. in uh, Guys and Dolls? Oh, no. Are you allowed to lie? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Yes, so you, we did. We would did. it be the beautiful and talented Barbara McNair? Oh, that's too quick. <laughs> I thought I would stump you all. I've worked with you, every I've, one of them. That's I've right. said it for years. When they make a better Indian, she'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Isn't that beautiful. Fun? Yeah, yeah, that must have been a lot of fun. They it's fun to look back on these things. It my is, cat, I did, I, he refreshes my memory, brings back so many, so many memories for me. Well, we have a viewer on the phone yeah. who wants to talk to you. His okay. name is Brad. Brad, do you want to talk to Barbara McNair? Uh, yes. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Brad. How are you? Good. How about you? Good. Um, I have a question. Okay. I am a musician. Mm -hmm. um, I'm more of a jazz and classical side. And I was wondering if you had any advice for um, young musicians out there that are that are that might try to want to do it, possibly for something you know to make a living with later. <laughs> yeah, that's always a good question. <laughs> make a living uh, with it. Make a living with it. Yes, <laughs> that's another story. Well, I'll tell you what you must do. Here's what I always figured. Until you can get yourself established in this business, you better have something else you can do. You know, just, just to give you something to eat until you find your way into the business. Now, I was a secretary when I first came out into the big wide world, knowing I wanted to be a singer, but not knowing how to get into the business. But I was able to support myself uh, as, a, as a secretary until I found those doors to get into the business. And you must take time to find the doors. You, it's not going to open immediately. So have patience and have something to sustain yourself until the door opens. Good advice. Yes. Thanks, Brad. We have Tina on the line now. Tina, do you have a question? Yes, I do. You, first off, let me tell you, you are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Um, I'd like to know who most influenced your music. Um, who did you? Well, you know, when I first started out, Tina, I was very much influenced by jazz singers like Sarah Vaughan and June Christie. But I sort of realized that that was a limited field for me. I wanted to do mo more in the commercial ventures. And then I sort of went to, I liked Peggy Lee very much. Mm. I liked Tony Bennett. Those were two people that really sort of were, were the people that I, that I followed. Because they, they both chose beautiful songs all the time. Their music, their musical taste was exquisite and that's the way I wanted to sing. Oh, oh good. Very eloquent advice. Very nice. Thank you so much, Tina. We'll be right back with more Game TV. Stay close. I think that's